Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here with some more carnage for you around Road America. We're going to rattle off a couple of quick clips for you today. The first one around the short version of Road America. And it's going to be a very short race for that guy who goes flying into the wall. And he's come back on the Evo, he's gone spinning. And they have caused, look at that, he's just going to swing back onto the track. I think they're all dead back there. But we're going to go into the second turn. Got a couple of cars ahead. It's all kicking off. It's all gone. Oh, look at that. He's just gone flying off into the lows. Lows is going to come back. Just, just swipe me there. And I just managed to get going. But we're going to go to the second clip around the Nürburgring. Just going to go past this guy. This is a very close shave. Watch this. This car just appears out of the dust and just, just avoids me or just misses me. And then just at the next corner, the Honda Civic. Just forgets to break and goes off onto the gravel and I'm passed into ninth. And then the next clip, some curb karma. This guy is just going to drive very wide, extending everything. He was, you know, he was extending everything and cutting all the corners. But then the curbs at Yas Marina come to hit, bite him back. Look at that. Just completely owned him there. I'm going to have to look at that again in slow motion. He somehow got caught as if it was a train track. But then we're going to move to the showpiece of the video. This is going to be the main race I'm going to show you today. I'm in the Lexus IPLG. It's a bit of a beefy car for B-Class. And I'm up against a Lotus in front and behind around what is a very handling based track. He's going to got my inside into a space that was never really on. And I'm just going to keep the position as we come into the infield section going to swing left and then back right again before we rejoin but uh, just before the stadium section we've got five laps to do it's going to be a long race here because I've got the heavy car and I'm up against the lightweight around a lightweight orientated circuit into the infield section the left hander I've got a bit of a gap to him just get hooked up nicely coming back for a late apex as I prefer on that turn give you a good run out into the chicane going all over the bumps this car again is very heavy and it kind of rides the bumps very well the Lotus is all over my back end and I can um, I can just see him poking his uh, the front of his car into the bottom of my screen there it's very unnerving when he does that across the line onto lap two let's see what we can do here can we keep this position it looks like first place is gone he's gonna extend it's, it's turned into extend city into the second turn. He's going to go for another move. Look at that. That's just pure filth. I'm going to let him know about that. There you go. And he is going to slow down. Actually, fair enough. He's going to let me go back into second. Oh, I think that's fair enough. He just completely overtook with about 20 wheels off the track by about 30 yards off, off the circuit. Not good stuff. Not good stuff at all. So let me go back past. We can try again. Let's see if we can do this until the end of the race. Let's see if we can keep this second place. First place is absolutely... He's just gone. There's just no chance that I can catch him unless a back marker or something catches up with him. Rams him off. And we've got a couple of back markers here actually fighting with each other. Really quite pointlessly. Look at this. They're just trying to ram each other off. 22nd and 21st place. Really not sure what triggered that. But those two guys are seriously triggered right now. And they are fighting each other off very pointlessly because it doesn't really matter you both last by miles nothing is going to come of it so they might as well just carry on through the first turn riding that curb very nicely it's extend city once again lotus going very wide and it's just the second turn it's hooked up very nicely this car has good brakes actually i've got the tune in the spreadsheet further around the race towards the end of lap uh, three the lotus has caught back up going to be a very hard race from here to the end now coming through the final turn got the car nicely planted on the exit that lotus though is right on my tail uh, about 20 feet away there he is could barely see him actually because of how small that car is Just getting through the first turn very nicely i'm going to go uh, defensive one defensive move fair enough move to the inside stay on the inside no weaving uh, through the turn he's respected that he stayed behind it was a decent block and then coming through into the infield we've got our left right let's go to the right hand side 
This can be taken flat out if you're very brave and very precise, but it does kind of put you offline for this right hander. You want to get a good line through this apex here to hook you on to this uh, right hander here. If you go too wide, you do lose a lot of time. Into the stadium section, I'm going to go defensive here. He's right on my tail, but he uh, he he's ambitious. Look at that. that he he really does want that position. So at the end of the day, you know, you kind of think. He, he clearly wants it that badly, you know, just take it mate, if it really matters that much to you, then just have it. I think, um, given that he's using that Lotus, and he was a bit sketchy on his driving, perhaps he doesn't. he's not used to finishing this high up. That can be my only, um, my only conclusion to this, perhaps he's not used to being this high up on the grid, and he's got very excited the prospect of finishing second or even fi finishing ahead of Super GT, maybe he thinks I can get to one of his videos if I totally troll Super GT he's doing that, but I'm going to try and troll him back see if I can overtake him back before the end of the race he's going to be a tough ask, but I am keeping up with him as we come back into the infield for the last time of five now through the left right, let's see the difference between the two cars actually not too much, but on this apex I go a little bit too wide and you can see here, he's just going to pull away by a massive amount through this turn. I can't quite match that. I, I just couldn't get the car turned, really. It is a heavy car. Didn't really want to turn as much as a Lotus. Not many cars do. So it looks like I'm going to have to settle for third. At the end, you know, not too bad a race. I did beat still 20 people or so in this lobby. But just being beaten by two Lotuses, not really uh, too bad of results given I, I am driving this absolute tank of a car. Come across the line to claim a third. I hope you have enjoyed this video guys, let me know your thoughts as always. Let me know your thoughts on those shoddy overtaking manoeuvres from that other guy. But as always, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same, plenty of Forza content coming your way. And hit that like button if you did like this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.